Hello, dear viewers, and welcome to this edition of Kume News. In our major stories today, over 500 people were saved at the historic first service of the mega church at the base in Kume. At the base of a ministry in Edea, the session of the School of Noyan Serving God for National Missionaries is ongoing amid usual activities. Meanwhile, in nations, the saints pursue the goal in evangelism and prayer. This and many more coming up. Stay tuned. Sunday, 5th of March 2023, marked a historical day for the saints of the church at the base. Indeed, they celebrated the first service of the mega church at the base in Kume. It was a service not just like anyone, since it was the beginning of the accomplishment of prophecies and the answer to prayers raised by our founding leader. Indeed, the latter, on 4th September 2004, proclaimed that Betwa will be a great city, great for God and great for man. He proclaimed that massive numbers will gather and give themselves to Jesus and love Jesus and abide in Jesus and rise to great heights. He further prayed asking God for a church of 10,000 people, 10,000 lovers of Jesus Christ in the city. And later on, on 22nd November 2009, in a special message to the saints in Betwa, the Lord called them to be his army, an army in great numbers, and asked of them the mega church he needs for his purposes, a mega church for the headquarters. To satisfy to this requirement of the Lord, Pastor Theodore Andosi, leader of the community, during his last retreat with the pastors of the headquarters church, reorganized the church at the base, appointing a team of ministers for the emergence of the mega church at the base. And indeed, the emergence is ongoing since the 5th of March. There were over 2,000 to be eyewitnesses of this historical event in the church at the base. For this first service of the mega church, saints from five centers, namely Tigaza, Ntindamba, Boglota village, Elvage, and Dimako, were present. It was an event rich in sound and praise under the leadership of the mega church choir. The coordinator of the day, Pastor Yasen Bukolo, reminded the prophetic origins of the event. The gospel was then preached in the power of the Holy Spirit by Pastor Afon Stawet. He used the parable of the rich man and Lazarus in Luke 16, as well as his personal testimony of conversion to persuade all the invitees to give their lives to Christ. Responding to the gospel thus preached, a first wave of 300 people came to the Savior. These were counseled in another hall by pastors. In the meantime, as he welcomed the invitees, Pastor Tawat launched the altar called anew, and about 200 people answered positively. This, added to the first 300, makes a total of 516 conversions during this first service. Note that 72 people were baptized into water on the same day. After this great catch, Pastor Tawad exhorted the saints on the attitude to adopt when faced with the storms the word pours on the believer. He urged each one to grow so as to take care of themselves spiritually. He then led the saints in prayers of healing and deliverance. The assembly was afterwards blessed by Pastor Nicolas Kwa and Pastor Constant Yonke. The service ended with announcements and praise. Next appointment being taken for Sunday 12th March 2023, same venue, same time. To God be the glory for this kickstart of the mega church at the base. Students of the 21-day session of the ongoing session of the School of Knowing and Serving God in Dumbi completed the first part of their training after an intense program of three weeks aimed at enabling each one to have a lifelong encounter with God. They were sent on internship during a ceremony that took place on the 5th of March 2023. The ceremony was coordinated by Brother Charles Nsama, 
the vice principal of the institution. He led the students to thank God for the closing session and gave each of the living students the opportunity to introduce themselves and briefly share a testimony on the impact of the training in their lives. Pastor Alphonse Stawet then took the floor and urged the students not to forget the theme of the session nor the burden of the leader. He called them to be a living evidence of the fact that the burden currently carried by the leader has been answered, namely the rapid growth and maturation of emerging leaders. He supported this with Bible verses including 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 5 and 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 23. He then warned those going on internship against the war of seeds from Matthew chapter 13 verses 36 to 39 and encouraged them to go the full way of the cross. Pastor Tawet rounded up his ministry by leading the students in a few prayer topics, namely, among others, that each of the outgoing students will be victorious in the war of seeds, that each of them will be a light in their localities. That their teaching on the way of the cross in their localities will not be with Bible verses but with their lives and that the Lord will protect them. The ceremony ended with praises and the sharing of a meal. The 23rd session of the Edea School of Knowing and Serving God for National Missionaries kicked off on the 1st of March 2023. Courses have been going on for one week and have focused essentially on such key elements as what is the Christian Missionary Fellowship International, who is Professor Zachariah Stani Formum, the foundations of our ministry, our vision, our goal, our ministry, our work, our mission, as well as the notion of missionary. The lectures are backed up with practical works carried out every afternoon. In the same time, the work of prayer continues at the base of the ministry in Cameroon. The women of the Sanaga Maritime Spiritual Province held their third 24-hour monthly prayer siege for the year 2023. Simultaneously, the workers of the base were holding their monthly prayer day, while some students at the ongoing session were having their sessions of prayer on the sidelines of the program. All were pleading for a massive presence of God on the site so that he possesses it and dwells in it. They also prayed for Brother Theodore, Pastor Jean de Dieu, and the needs of the work as well. Pastor Fidel Bakam, the missionary number one to Senegal, called upon the saints during a leader's retreat to be committed to God, to know the mind of God and pursue the goal relentlessly. He also said that the need to produce explosions in numbers will require that you are committed to God, the goal and the vision. Note that the retreat took place on Saturday the 4th of March in CMFI's headquarters, Dakar and went from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The saints gathered were also called to believe the word of the Lord for the year 2023. The said retreat was a moment to boost up the brethren in their life of soul winning in Senegal. During their service in Kedogu, a region located at 700 kilometers from Dakar, 15 new baptisms and 10 people were saved. It should be noted that the service took place on the 5th of March 2023. The service was marked with healings, deliverances and testimonies. Among other things were the testimonies of Brother Jacques Kwechi and Brother Edwin Ekwen that moved the 106 people that came for the service. Glory be to God for his handiwork in Senegal.
in Rwanda, the Lord has matched open a great door for the gospel in the district of Mwanga through a couple that took the commitment to wholly serve the Lord in our ministry. As a matter of fact, they invited Pastor Jean de Gou, missionary number one, to Rwanda and his team to visit the locality on 10 February 2023. After renting a hall for a full year, the hall will henceforth carry the signboard CMFI. An evangelistic crusade was later on organized in the hall from 24th to 25th February. 2,000 evangelistic tracts were distributed and 14 people were saved during this crusade. The work there was thus starting and the work has been continuing, especially with the evangelistic crusade along with a musical concert that was organized in the locality on 5th March 2023. During the event, a thousand tracts were distributed and a few souls were saved as well. In the meantime, Sister Charlotte Degu, missionary number two to Rwanda, pursues with her prayer sieges tour. The tour is aimed at encouraging and multiplying places of prayer in the nation. The first siege of 33 hours took place at the base and witnessed the participation of about 50 leaders. Pastor Jean de Gou seized this opportunity to exhort his co-workers to prayer and evangelism so as to rapidly accomplish the goal of the nation for phase 3. To this aim, he brought the brethren back to the Rema 2023, he shared his testimony and he also shared the practical work to be done at the level of the house churches. Praise the Lord for his work that is moving in Rwanda. Brethren in Abidjan, under the leadership of Pastor Boniface Menier, pursued with the conquest of the city through the evangelistic crusade dubbed Weekend of Salvation and Healing. The latest stopover was in the Makori zone on 4th and 5th March under the theme True Conversion and Divine Restoration. The proclamation of the Gospel of Truth resulted in the conversion of 90 people, 65 on the first day and 25 on the second. Besides, four people were baptized into water on the spot. The crusade was also marked by numerous healings and deliverances in answer to prayer. The 90 souls won during this second stopover of 2023 added to the 229 led to Christ at Ajame on 18th and 19th February make a total of 319 souls won so far for the current year. Note that the next episode of the event is scheduled for 11th and 12th March in Port Boy Spiritual Zone under the theme True Repentance and Divine Restoration with Pastor Boniface Menier. As main speaker. This brings us to the end of our news edition for today. For more updates, visit our YouTube channel RTVC English. Thanks for your kind attention and God bless you.